it's, you're getting the call. Yeah, I understand. Ali's dad killed 1,000 white people with opioids, sent $15. That's true. Allegedly. What? Yeah, he used to give out scripts. Man. Your mom wanted to host a party. It was like 50 people. Like, what the fuck? Hi, Ethan. How are you? <laughs> Hello, ma'am. You're okay. How was your baby? <laughs> Hello, ma'am. I didn't know you were on the phone already. Excuse <laughs> my <laughs> language. How are you doing? Excuse my I'm language. I thought I was talking to Ali still. Um, yeah, Ali handed me the phone. He said, Mom, Ethan is online. Yes, that was Ethan that said okay, that. that now, now yeah, for, I know. I guess you and Dr. J got off on the wrong foot yesterday, I heard. Well, I heard the, well. A little birdie, a little birdie told me. <laughs> yeah, well, it did, it did because he called me and he said basically what we had talked about. Uh, and it was a smaller. Ethan, I didn't, Ethan uh, tell me. No, no, I need to ask you before. I'm sorry to cut you, but, but uh, I mean, I didn't even know that there is a concept called internet trolling you know well there so, is so number one i mean because see you have to understand uh, sure you, you kids are like millennial kids right uh this is a millennial terminology like how people troll but honestly i think we had a good understanding we uh, met you like you said yesterday you were trying to tell dr j but he first of all he, he was in the middle of seeing a patient so he is already, sure. already occupied he's a very busy doctor and uh and unfortunately you I'm not wow. trying to defend anybody here, but all I'm trying to say that we 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 had a very good meeting in Vegas, and we had a very good meeting with Paul. I thought so. Everything was said, and I think you had a great meeting with Dr. J also initially about hosting the event, and then we start getting some kind of you know threatening, um, not threatening, I must say, but. But these people, are. I'm sure that if who you, I'm, I'm sure people. May, of course, you do a show because, see, when you do a show, you you pick a lot of negative with positive, right? True. And uh, and I don't blame you. And I understand showbiz media more than anything because I have been a television host myself for ten years, and I understand how how this this works. But Doctor J is not of the same same. Um, what do you say? The same line of profession. You do live streaming. He first of all, he doesn't even understand YouTube. So, um, so my, my thing is we started receiving mail and I, and Ali has shared that mail with some of your friends also, you, I'm not I sure. And that was quite a detailed letter sent out to my home address. Uh, yes, and, and I have no clue where is that coming from. And I'm um, sure. So that that, and I have a clue and maybe, I can talk yeah. about this, uh, limitedly, uh, because I share a son, uh, with the woman involved, uh, well, the, fa oh, the okay. father, the woman okay. involved. So he basically sends out, um, you know, um, just letters he has ready to send out to everybody to try to stop me from doing events. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my son's going to turn two, so this two is, years this old. Your, uh, this, this is year. your ex wife? Is this your ex wife? Uh, this is my ex girlfriend. I'm married now uh, with a daughter, and uh, she is my official daughter um mm -hmm. so we just got married recently but uh but the one before that uh, is pretty much dedicated to trying to ruin me i guess you could say um no i understand i understand yeah i mean yeah, uh, yeah. right yeah. what is in the past in the past as listen i believe in building your future and being in the present and ali has told me so many great things that you're building to be a better person and now obviously you have a family and you understand what it means to have a family and especially having a girl and you're more That's responsible, true. you're more um, gearing towards to become a better person and improving your future, you know, as we speak. But uh, but then again, uh, whatever is trolling you in the past is, is trying to stop you, which is very unfortunate because... Uh, you know, Dr. J is the kind of person he doesn't want to be involved in. Even when, sure. believe it or not, when, even when I That's was, true. when I was a television host, I was being trolled, and that kind of uh, garbage was coming, and he he did not like it. And after five seasons, I had to stop my show because same kind of shit started happening. <laughs> there were people starting to troll me, and it was like right. it was crazy. It was like 
it was like a circus. So, ma'am, unfortunately, unfortunately, ma'am, I live in Mexico. Too. Do you know yeah. I moved to Mexico? I actually live in Mexico now, um, just yeah. to where <laughs> it makes it harder for people to find me <laughs> because of like the crazy people after me because of my <laughs> show. Basically, you're uh, gonna, but you know, because your your thing is, I've seen your show. I watch your show. Yeah, you I mean, I, honestly, you know, yeah. I was uh, yesterday was the first time I watched your show because obviously you guys got into a conflict on air, and I okay. Ali forwarded me because see, you are. And doing I shouldn't have said you're all those things, outspoken. by the way. I yeah. shouldn't have said all those things, but you know, it's a television show. <laughs> uh, I know. Um, see, I don't take these these things personally, but again. You now you have a family. You understands what it means to have a family. That's all I can say. And number one, number two, we have to also understand where Doctor J is from coming from. He's just trying to sure. be a. See, by the end of the day, he's just a doctor who's just focused on his work, right. and he just does not want to take. And even when I was doing my television career, he just could not understand the media, the television. He do, he doesn't understand the the creative side of it he doesn't understand how difficult it is to create any kind of content to have an outspoken mind how to speak out the truth he he's very guarded and so it, it's just a personality which you he's just very diligent with online yeah he's just yeah. very diligent and i'm not yeah <laughs> uh and, not, so, and which is okay because he uh, i was so it sucks though because i to wanted to do that. an event at your house not even an event just in a dinner or like some know, type of get together and, like, and, I, and I i put you guys together and you guys had a great talk yeah and dr j had agreed to it it yeah. was totally cool yeah and i met paul and paul was so so nice to ali and in, believe it or not when we got stuck in san antonio Paul's because the blizzard guy. came to dallas and I think the kindness that Paul showed by texting Ali, by saying, Ali, if you guys are in a jam, you can even, ha you know, have a place to stay in Austin. So that says a lot about a person and the values they're brought up with in life, you know? Yes. And, uh, and, I, and, I, and believe me, when I met you, I had a, I had a great positive vibe. Because see, I, I judge people that. by, that's why I wanted to come down with Ali to meet people personally. I don't judge you what you have done in the past. I don't judge you what you're doing now. But, but I can right. see that you are trying to change for the positive for your family that you have now. So even if you said all those things, Ali, fuck you or whatever, I'm sorry, excuse my language. <laughs> you, I don't know, you even, uh, you even tried to tell. It's a television show. Um, it's a show. Right? Right. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. but see, I, I, I overlook that because I see the person behind who is a good person, a genuine person. Um, Thank you. Unfortunately, you have people who, I mean, who are, you know, not, don't value you for what you are. And, um, and uh, what we can do, I, I, I mean, I, at my end, can only try my best to you come and talk to Jay again. Ha, yeah. You know what? Talk to Dr. Jay a little bit. We still got four months out. Talk to him a little bit. Maybe just yeah, a little small. Wait, wait, wait. Agent, but then again, you know, um, but wait, I, I wait, don't know if he told you or not. Hey, my, CD, my CD scan didn't come out right. Uh, I well, still he have did the, tell me that. And, I and I I believe me, uh, believe me, I have but, been but very, was, very sick lately. Yeah. That doesn't make me happy at all. You're one of the most wonderful women that I met in the last uh, four or five years, so I'll say that publicly. Um, but Thank what you. I would I say, and, uh, what honestly, I would say I, is I maybe we could do graduation. Yeah, maybe we could just do like a small, feeling so dizzy, not a yeah. ticketed dinner. Maybe we could just come out and have dinner. You know, me and a few other people. No, I, you know I mean? Ethan, like, I have yeah. no problem. Believe yeah, me, yeah, I met yeah, you. I yeah. met your gang. I think yeah. you guys are just yeah. fun-loving kids who are just trying to do a show and. I honestly, and whatever you did in the past, okay, that's in the past. Now you know better because now you believe me. And once you have a daughter, your perspective in life changes it because does. now you understand better how, because you know, you just change your perspective in life change and whatever. And I'm not going to judge you. Like I said, I don't judge anybody because I feel we, God has given us whatever we have and we cannot judge other people. We have to show compassion. So I'm going to talk to Dr. J again, try to convince him, but he's a man of very hard. Uh, oh, very I, old school, I respect him. We talked, Hey, we talked yeah. off air, by the way. Um, and yeah. I didn't put any of that on air. Um, you know, it, just if anything, if he just wants to have a dinner, maybe it doesn't have to be like a ticket to dinner. Um, you know, just get together uh, and talk or whatever and, and have fun. No, so you're welcome uh, to, you know, you guys are welcome to visit early. Ali. Ali's welcome to yeah, go to your, you know, sure. like to come because he, and, and uh, everything is fine. It's just that the person who sent us the letter was very, it was a very, I don't know. Did Ali send you a copy of that or no? Yes, he did. 
so you know i mean whoever is writing and meticulously and taking so much time out i mean it's just um, i don't well, know well i mean that say, person has know? a personal grievance against me for for um you know possibly understandable reasons uh but uh i have my own reasons <laughs> you understand like i can't i can't i can't, I can't really I mean, these things are, i can't really talk about that are, stuff publicly because but you know, just, i don't i don't blame i don't blame that person also because honestly at that time you were young and that lady was young whoever i'm sure she's a remarkable young lady because you do have a son with her i believe we need to give respect to everybody and uh, respect to anybody whoever is listening and um it's just uh, unfortunate that things, I mean, just blew it up. It is unfortunate. Like I agree. Yeah. Um, because it seemed like he was doing some things that he, weren't, he wasn't actually doing. Because he, he, he yeah. is, uh, he, he, I mean, like I said, whoever sends you anything in the mail, Dr. J is the kind of person who's going to find out, like, who, whoever it is, what's going on. He just got, he got, he was like, what is this? And why is it coming to our home address? You know, who got her? And then Ali was like, you know, mom, I never gave the home address and all that. But anyway, I don't take these things too seriously, honestly, because I have dealt with even crazy issues and uh, because I do events, you know, I have been doing concerts and events in DFW Metroplex for the last 15 years. I have seen some really crazy stuff, which is not even close to this. So it doesn't uh, surprise me, honestly. And um, I've had people do really crazy things out there. So it's just uh, whoever it is, I hope you can settle your grievances because you do have a son, and I think your son needs you too, uh, along with your daughter. And uh, that's one you need to, you know, because one day he'll grow up and he will, you know, he's going to say, Dad, you never gave me time. So all these things you need to understand because you're now um, a dad, you know, and um, I wish you the best, Ethan. Just keep on, well, like I, I said, appreciate my that. message. And know? I wish you the best as well, uh, Mrs. Jamal. You have a good one. Thank you. Bye. All right, bye-bye. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.